Hi, this is Venkatesh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to cook a Bengali dish, a Calcutta dish which I love the most. And the dish is Chingri Malai Curry. Let us look at the ingredients for Chingri Malai Curry. This is 700 grams of Chingri or prawns. Shell removed and deveined, cleaned under running water. 5 tablespoons of mustard oil, raika tail. 2 medium sized tomato puree, 2 medium sized onion puree, 1 cup of fresh coconut milk, half cup of fresh cream or malai, 4 small sized bay leaves, tejpatta, 2 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste taken in equal quantity, 3 fresh green chili slit, 2 red chili, dried red chili, salt to taste. 3 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder haldi 2 teaspoon of red chili powder 1 and a half teaspoon of garam masala powder 1 and a half teaspoon of zira cumin seed powder 1 4 teaspoon of asafoetida or hing powder 1 teaspoon of sugar shakkar 2 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter 8 Green cardamom, choti lychee, one and a half inch of dal chili, cinnamon stick, one star anise, chakri fool, about eight to ten cloves or lavang, and one and a half teaspoon of shahi jira. Let's start cooking chingri malai curry. So let us first marinate the chingri. For that, I'm going to take about half teaspoon of salt. Half the quantity of turmeric or haldi powder and about 3 4th teaspoon of red chili powder and then mix it well. Now the red chilli, turmeric powder and the salt has coated the chingri properly. So leave it at least for 15 to 20 minutes to marinate. Take a deep kadai and heat it up and add the mustard oil. Heat the mustard oil properly nicely until it smokes. Mustard oil is smoking properly nicely perfectly. Now. Fry the chingri on both the sides just for a minute. On high flame. So I fried the chingri, the prawns on both the sides just. One minute on each side on high flame, and I'm removing it, removing it on a, on a plate. So, do this for all the remaining chingris. Try it on both the sides with turn them. Done. Remove it in the plate. In the same mustard oil, add the whole spices, zira, lychee. Star onions, dalchini, lavam, 
red chili, tej patta, and the hing powder. And then immediately add the onion. And fry it on high flame until the onion becomes light golden brown. Onion has become light golden brown. I am going to add the ginger garlic paste. And fry it until the raw smell of ginger garlic is gone. You can fry it on medium to high flame. So it is sticking at the bottom like this. Add just little water. This will help to deglaze the curry and also prevent it from burning. The ginger garlic has fried nicely. So we are done. Now I am going to add the powdered spices. Turmeric haldi powder, red chili powder, and zira powder. Mix it well and fry it. Add little water. This will prevent the masala or the spice powder from burning. Fry it for about. Two minutes on medium to high flame. The powdered spices has fried very nicely. As you can see, the oil has come up to the surface. Now it's time to add the tomato puree and fry the tomato puree until it reduces and it releases its own oil. You can see the oil on the surface once it is fried or cooked properly. Cook it on high flame. The tomatoes have fried perfectly. As you can see, the oil has come up to the surface. Now I'm going to add sugar and again mix it. I've been frying the tomatoes for almost eight to ten minutes on high flame, and. When it was sticking at the bottom, I added a little water to deglaze it and prevent it from sticking at the bottom or burning. Now I'm going to add fresh coconut milk and mix it well. Cover it and let. The coconut milk cook for at least five to seven minutes on medium flame. I've been cooking this for almost five to seven minutes. Yeah, it's done. Perfectly done. I'm going to add the fresh cream now at this stage. Fresh cream, malai. One of the main ingredients of the chingli malai curry dish. Mix it properly. After adding the malai, I cooked this for two minutes. And now I'm going to add the chingli, the prawns. Give it a proper mix. The consistency of this gravy will be thick, but if you need thin gravy, you can add little water at this stage. And I'm going to add salt to taste. Mix it well. Cover it and cook it on low flame. For around four to five minutes. Let's check. 
This is almost done. At this stage, we add the garam masala powder, ghee or clarified butter. and the slit fresh green chili mix it well and again let it cook for another 2 to 3 minutes on medium flame and cover it I've been cooking this for three minutes. This is done. This is perfectly done. Turn off the flame. Cover it and leave it for at least 10 minutes before you serve. Chingri Malai curry is ready. Delicious and rich chingri malai curry is ready to be served. Serve hot along with rice or chapati. For more such recipes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog www.dairyscuisine.com. Enjoy chingri malai curry. Happy eating. Thank you.